stand in a warehouse under a... But the result is even better things for you. Alright, roll it anytime. Hello, my name is Bill Park Butter Mash. We have here, pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm the CEO of IMAX. Right. There we go. You've probably seen something in IMAX, or I would hope so, otherwise you would live. Uh, so tell us a little bit about what you announced today with Sony. Yeah, what we announced at Sony is we're doing a partnership with both Sony and Discovery to create a 3D cable channel in the home. And sort of the thought is that um, there's really a dramatic push on for um, 3D content. The studios are making all this 3D content, lots going on in sports and 3D content. The public clearly is liking 3D content as evidenced by the Avatar results and other results. So, you know, it seemed to us that given our, our brand value and some of our technology that it made sense to try and get a beachhead in the home. And so, yeah, your main your main component is in, uh, is in your giant theaters. And so what are you hoping, like, what kind of, what are you hoping to accomplish with your home initiative? Well, I mean, you know, the, the, the size of the theaters is one thing. There's also, you know, we've been in the 3D business for 25 years, so we have a pretty strong understanding of how to shoot things, how to make things come out in front of the screen versus back of the screen, how to convert 2D content into 3D content. It's also a distribution channel for films that we're making. For example, uh, we're doing a film about the Hubble telescope, and we're going to show 3D images um, of the Hubble coming out of the Hubble. And that's being released uh, this March, so it'll be an outlet for content that we're creating. So you know, we're uh, you know, there's a lot of things we think we can add, and we're going to try and make it premium quality, also, which is you know, obviously the core of our brand. Absolutely. Uh, why don't we just talk a little bit about what kind of year you've had this year? You were telling me a little bit before that Avatar has, been, has done a lot with IMAX, like, has been a lot of business with IMAX. Before. Yeah. Well, overall, we've done about 75 million dollars. Less than three weeks, which is record-breaking for us. Our highest grossing film so far. Um, what's, what's even more incredible, during the weekdays since the New Year's weekend, the last few days, we've been doing about 25% of the box office domestically on about 2% of the screens. Which, you know, I, I, that won't be the case over the weekend. But it's sort of an incredible result, and it's saying that, you know, clearly if people have a choice, they want to see it in IMAX. And I think, rightfully so, I think, you know, it's really special in IMAX. And I think one of the things that is really important to us about that is that um, a lot of the people coming for Avatar haven't really been to an IMAX theater before, and we have a terrific slate for next year, so they're seeing trailers for Alice in Wonderland, How to Train Your Dragon, Toy Story 3D, Inception, and I think having experienced an IMAX once, it really helped build our business going forward and bring more people in. I'll tell you just right now, I'm going to go see Alice in Wonderland and IMAX, there's no doubt about that. Um, just a little bit, is there anything else we should be looking for for you in this year and in the future? Well, I think the strategy you saw us announce today with the uh, 3D channel is just part of a, a broader strategy, which is to try and take our out of home brand and try and find venues in the home where it makes sense to go. So, you know, this is not the only thing we'll be doing. I think it's the start of, you know, hopefully other things. That's perfect, Richard. Thank you very much. Right, thank you. Nice to meet you.